everybody. Welcome to Vlogmas day number two. It's very, very loud because currently I'm sat in the common room and I feel like I'm getting judged a little bit. Toby's judging me. Toby's judging me. Um, but I'm currently sat in the common room. It's like period four. We've got a free period and I haven't sat in my vlog because this morning I left the house in a massive rush. So that means I haven't opened my advent calendars, which is quite emotional um, because I'm so excited to open my advent calendar. Um, but anyway, tonight I'm going out with my brother. So I thought it's probably better if I start the vlog later on because then there's like more of tonight that I can film if you know what I mean you probably do it anyway you also probably can't hear me because I'm in a really loud environment so I'm gonna go but I thought I'd start it now and say that today is December the 2nd and yeah hi vlog I'm just stealing Molly's camera to film a video at school and it's been really fun and now I'm gonna go and give it back I hope you're all having fun watching her vlog this Okay guys, so I'm now walking home. I hope the audio is good on this because I don't really know what it's like and I also don't know how the quality is in the dark, but anyway, I'm walking home. I walk with Izzy and Talek and Josh on Friday nights, which is nice up until this point and then I'm on my own. But hopefully I'll bump into my brother. We have just walked home from the same school, but he never walks with me, which is really sad and emotional because he didn't want to be seen with me. I'm not cool enough for his friends, you know. Okay, so I'm now home. I stopped the clip pretty abrupt because I was literally just walking down the street and then loads of cars started coming past and I was on my own. So I was like, no. Um, but yeah, tonight I'm going to the cinema um, and we're actually going to go and see a street cat named Bob, um, which sounds really funny, but if you don't know what it's about, then like, I'll leave a link to the trailer in the description because I feel like that describes it better, but it's, it's a true story, which um, is a little bit weird to go in and watch in a film because usually it's like fiction. Um, but Harry and I are going to go. I haven't been to the cinema with Harry in like literally forever. Um, but anyway, right now I'm just like, why is my hair so frizzy? Um, I'm just looking at, um, well, I'm actually looking at booking centre parks, which is just like a completely different story, but that's that's one for another day um, and something that's not happening now. But anyway, that's what we're currently all sat doing in the group chat. Um, but anyway, I'm gonna eat some food and then I think me and Harry might have to walk to the cinema. Very convenient because um, there's now a cinema in Beverly, otherwise we wouldn't have been able to go. But um, I'm not sure if we're gonna walk or get a lift yet. But yeah, I might make a cheeky trip to Starbs before I go. Is that gonna surprise anybody? Probably not. Okay guys, I'm gonna do my advent calendar now. I'm very excited. So I'm gonna do this one first. This is as the choc. I think it might be like chocolate every day. I'm not sure. Um, in the email they sent me, it said something about having skin benefits, but I think that's because uh, it's dark chocolate, you know? Um, unless maybe they alternate between dark and milk and white. Ooh, that'd be exciting. Okay, time for the body shop one. I'm so excited. I have no idea what's in number two. I have already opened them. I have no recollection though. Number two is here. Oh, it's quite big. Quite light. Oh, mm, cool. Exfoliating gloves. Bath gloves. See, I don't fake tan, but if I did fake tan, these would be really helpful. Okay, so we are about to go out now. I look bald. I hate wearing my hair in a ponytail, but it's just so much easier. I also look so much younger with my hair like this, but oh well. Anyway, we're about to go out. Look how funky these look. I'm still not over them. Anyway, um, I need to get a bag together. We're walking onto Flemingate. I think we're gonna get some food from Starbucks, maybe like a toasty, and then get some popcorn at the cinema. Um, and I'm very excited to see this film. Basically, um, A Street Cat Named Bob is a, like, true story of um, a homeless man that lived in London or lives in London. Um, and like, the story of like how he, it sounds really weird, like, met this cat and it like changed his life and stuff it sounds really strange but the book's really good uh, I read the book when I was in like year 8 and the fact that they've made it into a film just from the point of view and like how insane is that that he's gone from like a homeless person to now he has his own movie like I think that's insane um, and it's obviously like raising awareness to like loads of different stuff so it should be a really really good film I think it's funny as well like it's not just really morbid and sad um, but I'm really looking forward to it um, if you're wondering where my jumper's from, by the way, just because I get questions a lot of the time about this one because I've worn it in a few videos, it is actually green. I mean, not that you can really see. And it's from H&M. Okay, guys, hopefully you can see us. The thing I worked out yesterday is that I haven't quite worked out how to sort this camera out in the dark, so the low lighting's not cute. But I'm with Harry. Are you excited to see the film, Harry? No. Harry doesn't really want to come with me. I've pretty much forced him out of the no, house. I didn't.
Okay, so we are now on Fleming Gate. It's looking very Christmassy, isn't it, Harry? Yes. You don't say much, do you, when you're in my vlogs? Everyone will think you're really quiet. You don't, do you? Yes. Anyway, we're going to go and get food, but the small issue is that Costa and Starbucks are closed, or closing. I think they close at 6 and it's like, what time is it? It's quite late. 25 to, 25 to 6, so it would just be really annoying if we were to go and sit in there now. So, this keeps going in and out of focus, I need to sort the camera out. But anyway, look how Christmassy Fleming Gate looks. So pretty. So I think plan B is to go to um, Greg's, isn't it, Harry? Yes. Do you like Greg's? Yes. What are you going to order? Yes. Love that. So, Carrie and I have bought a lot of food. We're about to go in. Are you excited? I've never been to the cinema with just you. Oh, it's like a sibling date. I can't take all of these. No, I'm taking the popcorn. Harry's like, no. I'll get the popcorn. Let's go. So we are now in the cinema, and it's literally the smallest cinema screen. Isn't it really tiny? Harry's so embarrassed because there's somebody else in here. There's literally only one other family and then there's me vlogging quite loudly, but there's the screen. It's so tiny and I snuck my Starbucks in, which I'm so happy about because I ordered a, a ham and cheese like panini thing and it's like my favourite food ever and snuck it in. Love that. Um, but yeah. Okay, so the lighting in here is really not very cute, but anyway, um, the film just finished and it was actually really good. Like I said, I'd read the book when I was quite a lot younger. Harry, you'd never seen it, had you? I've read the book even. Did you get that? No, I didn't get that. Did you just do a bottle flip on the floor? Um, I didn't read the book. You'd never read the book before. What did you think to the film? <laughs> Out of ten, what would you rate it? Eight out of ten, that's really high. Okay guys, so I'm now home and I'm about to sit and read the manual because even though in yesterday's vlog I was like, please don't comment about the camera quality, I, um, I'm getting used to it and I didn't know how to use it. I haven't set the camera up properly. I did buy it like just a few days before Vlogmas started and I haven't had a chance to like set the camera up properly but I didn't want to vlog on my old camera yesterday. I did want to start Vlogmas on this camera. Um, so the fact that the quality is lower yesterday and that it wasn't always in focus was because I said I didn't really know what I was doing with the camera and I did explain that but tonight every single comment pretty much has been saying about how you don't like the camera quality however I've just paid like 300 pounds for this camera so I'm not switching back to my old one um I personally think the quality on this one is just as good if not better I think in light like proper light this camera quality is insane um however obviously if you guys really really don't like it I can swap back to my other camera but it, I just got so many comments tonight so I'm gonna sit and read my manual for this camera and try and work out how to focus it a bit better or how to get it to work better in low lighting uh, obviously I am trying my best with something I have no idea what to do with so please don't fill the comments with like camera quality is really bad because like I'm just getting to grips with it and I'm just kind of like oh <laughs> I'm just trying my best um but anyway we've got back from seeing the film I really really enjoyed the film literally I would recommend going and seeing it because it's just such an eye-opener do you know when you watch a film and you come away being like wow I need to change my life a little bit but it's one of those films for sure anyway right now I'm gonna go learn how to use my own camera because I'm clearly an amateur <laughs> Okay, hopefully this might be better. I'm really, really not sure. I've, I honestly, if there's anybody that has this camera, um, I have the Sony, I don't even know, the Sony Cybershot. Um, I'll try and link it below. I said I'd do that yesterday, but I can't even find it because I don't even know what camera I bought. Uh -huh. Um, but I'll try and make it better. But honestly, like, I can change the lighting on the screen. I can change, I like all these little numbers. I don't know what they are. Like this, look at that. I can make it really dark. I can make it really bright. Who knows what's going on? Is that too bright? I'm not sure. There's no nothing on focus though. Guys, okay, so this is the camera that I have. It's the Sony Cybershot DSC-HX90V. I think. It might be the one without the V. I think it's this one. I've just been reading about the settings for ages. To me, this quality looks fine, but to you, I don't know, obviously it might not do. One thing I have noticed is that the audio is really good. The audio on my other camera wasn't as fabulous. This audio is really, really nice, so you've got to count the pros and cons. But if anybody has this camera um, and would like to help me set it up, slash please teach me how to use it, um, please let me know in the comments, or if you know anybody else that's ever vlogged on this. I'm not sure if maybe Saffron Barker used to film on this. Um, but either way, if you could let me know in the comments, that'd be amazing. Here we see our wild Harry lying on the sofa. This is my David Attenborough voice, by the way, guys. Who's your wild Harry? 
So we have got, well I say we, I've got a hot chocolate in my little Mickey Mouse mug. I've got this funky little snowman thing and we've got I'm a celeb on. Let me know who you want to win I'm a celeb in the comments because it's going to end soon on Sunday. Who do you want to win? I want Scarlett. Okay guys, so I'm actually about to go in a minute, but just before I do, I thought I would talk you through the skincare routine that I'm about to do because I'm about to have a shower and, oh, is this quality any better? There you go, I think the quality in here is quite good because of the light, because of the light even. Um, but anyways, yeah, I'm about to have a shower, but my skin's really not very nice right now and also neither is my hair. Um, and for some, like, well not for some reason, but kind of like insanely, last week I received a lifetime supply of OGX hair care because when I went to the Cosmo event, some of you might remember, I think I vlogged it, me and Liv played a guess how many sweets are in a jar because... Uh, Love Hearts, the sweets, were sponsoring or like collaborating with OGX, the hair brand, and somehow, I have no idea how, I guess the right number or the closest amount, so I've won a lifetime supply of OGX hair care, which I've split between my friends because, um, well I say split between my friends, giving some to Erin, giving some to Liv, basically, yeah, if you're my friend IRL and you want some OGX, hit me up, Beso. Anyway, right now I'm going to take my makeup off, I'm going to get in the shower, I'm going to Condition my hair really nice because it feels really dry. It looks really dry as well because I've been using a lot of heat on it and I want to like deep condition it. Um, and I also really, really want a haircut. Like really want a haircut quite a lot off of my hair because I'm sick to death of having long hair. If you remember in the summer, I cut my hair off about five inches. Um, the majority of that's grown back because it has been like five months. Um, so I want to cut off another like three and a half inches, maybe take it up to about this level. Um, just because I'm sick of it, I don't have the time and effort to keep my hair in good condition because it's so frizzy, it's so curly that I need to straighten it quite frequently and that obviously damages it. Um, and it's just a bit easier if it's that little bit shorter. So for tonight, I'm going to try and get it feeling nice and deep condition it a little bit. So I'm not quite sure what I'm going to use. I'm going to take my makeup off using this, which is the Garnier Micellar Water. Um, I'm also kind of tempted to fake tan just purely because I just watched one of my summer vlogs where I looked really tanned and I really miss that and I really, I've never faked tanned in my life but I'm kind of tempted to even though actually no there's no point it's winter and there's literally no point but yeah <laughs> uh, anyway I'm gonna go I'm gonna get in the shower so I shall see you for tomorrow where um, I'm gonna go Christmas shopping with my mum. I think I'm picking up my ring because I'm getting a Christmas present early, um, which will be wrapped up for Christmas, but I need to pick it out myself. Um, and then I think I'm also maybe meeting Josh to sit and do some history work in Costa. So Christmas shopping, Christmas coffee shops, um, and basically everything exciting that can happen whilst without leaving Beverly. <laughs> um, so yeah, I shall see you all in tomorrow's Vlogmas video. Do give this a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it. I'm so sorry last night's video went up late. I was in the cinema, YouTube had some issues. Um, but if you have enjoyed this, give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe down below if you are not already. And be sure to share this across your social media. Let's get the word out. Hashtag Beauty Spectrum Vlogmas. Let's make that a thing. Anyway, I shall see you tomorrow at six. Bye guys. Okay, good morning guys and welcome to Vlogmas 2016. I am so excited to be starting Vlogmas for the second year running. Last year I did do Vlogmas.